Welcome. Uh, my name is Steve Nording and I'll be uh, walking you through the sedimentology lab in room 212 of Leonard Hall. Um, what we have in this lab uh, is primarily a teaching lab where we have a collection of samples stored in a variety of cabinets here. And it's, like I said, a teaching lab where we bring the samples that are uh, collected in various uh, from various places around the world that illustrate particular features in sedimentary rocks that uh, students can uh, look at and uh, analyze with regard to depositional environments, um, various other aspects of the geology. Um, now let's take a quick look at uh, I guess some of the uh, cabinet we have here. This is where we have uh, sample collections, um, in this case uh, loose sediments. Up here we have again some other sediments, these are all labeled. Uh, we can pull them out shelf by shelf for uh, presentation during the, the semester. When we're finished up, of course, we can put them back in, making sure they can stay in order over time. Again, rock collections, illustrating various features. samples that are uh, useful for uh, teaching aspects of sedimentology and stratigraphy. More storage. Again, simple storage space. Future uh, use. And more cabinetry with rocks in it. You can never have too many rocks. These are just simple storage facilities for various uh, rock samples. And it's a collection that's been probably built since uh, the initiated, since uh, Leonard Hall was built uh, in the 1960s. We have quite a good collection here. Up here we have uh, sample splitters. We pour in something like a loose sand into it, uh, pull the lever, it splits out the sample into two equal sets. Um, very useful in doing sedimentological studies of loose grains. Uh, here we have some samples of sand from various places around the world. Things like this. Uh, over here, this is where we have our collection of sieves labeled in fee units or millimeters and organized by size. Of course, almost never have too many sieves. And we have a set of spare sieves up here. Down here we just simply have storage space for various components, which is basically knickknacks and whatnot. Apparently, in this case, textbooks. Um, our sink is uh, operational. There are no chemicals in this lab. Those have been cleaned out um, several years ago. Um, this fume hood is no longer in use. It's been decommissioned. And all of the chemistry that had been done in here at one point in time is no longer permitted. Um, the ovens we have here, these are uh, simply being stored here. They are operational, but uh, uh, they're not in use at the moment. Uh, should we ever bring these back into use, uh, they will uh, be run through a quick uh, quality assurance check to make sure they are operational and everything, the wiring and whatnot is proper. Uh, again, more storage. Yeah, more 
samples, some of the larger ones that we have that show features that are only seen when we get the rock to a particularly good size. Um, probably the only piece of instrumentation we have in the lab is this magnetic separator. Um, this is only used uh, by graduate students or undergraduates after being uh, trained for its particular use. It's a very simple technical method. It's simply a vibrating coil that allows sediment to slide down and the magnetic stuff gets held behind or pushed off to one side. The non-magnetic stuff goes to the other side. Um, the hazard associated with this might be associated if you have a, a pacemaker or some sort of electronic device that's sensitive to magnetic fields. Uh, we do uh, monitor that to make sure there are no issues with the magnetic field. But that's what the only has for this is that it does generate a pretty strong magnetic field. Um, and of course we have some more samples. So that's basically what we have got uh, in the sedimentology stratigraphy lab, uh, sensory collection of samples. Um, we have them organized, we have some sieves, samples, litter, uh, a couple of ovens that are in storage, and are made an separator. So uh, thank you for your time, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know, and I'd be happy to answer them.